Okay guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a nail art tutorial. Um, hopefully it goes as uh, hoped. We have just applied some hard gel to the lovely Katie's nails here. And today we are going to be using fairy pool and bubble gum. And what we're gonna be doing is a vertical ombre and we're gonna be covering it with beautiful moon drops. We are very, very excited. So let's get started. First thing we are gonna do is I am going to go in with my fairy pool and I am going to apply it to one side of the nail only. You don't need to be really precious. It doesn't matter if it goes over the other side of the nail. My God, it's been ages since I've done this on a real person rather than a pop. So I'm gonna go along all of my nails. I've just realized that I said to Laura that I would try and get somebody to film this for real. Yeah. Oh, I have my new phone, my 12 Pro. Wow. <laughs> You're like, wow, that's ancient. <laughs> do you need me to do it in a certain set? Uh, not do that again. Chris, do you want to try and hover over me and do it from my angle? Sure. Sorry. So I just do this, get this finger, yeah? So really close, you're going to be really close and try and be, like put your arm around my head. Okay. You remember this is on YouTube, so we can't, um, you know. Okay. Okay. So whenever we come back to that finger, let's just remember. And if you hear something in the background, tell us in the warehouse with some headphones on, doing some chores, and deciding to this. <laughs> so, yeah, we are just doing half of the nail. Again, it's kind of more like, well, more be like sort of two thirds than half. Um, don't worry about being precious about it, but as close to half as we can get. What made you think of this? I just love this effect, and I particularly love it with the chrome over the top. So, yes. Next thing I am going to do is I'm going to go in with my bubble gum. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side of the nail. Now, you are going to get the other colour on your brush. Okay, we don't want too much product on the brush. So, wipe off as much as you can. And then we are just going to paint the other side. And we are going to lightly brush down um, the middle of the nail. Do you want Katie to move her hand back up? I think so. I think that's what it sounds like to me. So again, we are just picking up a small amount of gel just to paint the other half or other side of the nail. Don't worry if again you go over the halfway mark, it doesn't matter so much. And you're sort of blending it down the middle. The, uh, this is a really easy tutorial. I am not very good at complicated nail art, which is why I am choosing to show you guys this because I think it's a really nice effect that is really, really easy to do. And the good thing is that you have the chrome um, to hide a multitude of sins. So it's just a good wee hack, I think. So in case people are new to the channel or been living under a rock, what? Just quickly guys, what I'm doing here before putting my bot my brush back in the bottle is I'm wiping off the excess on a um, lint-free wipe because of course I don't want to contaminate the gel inside the bottles. Sorry. Yes, what were you saying Chris? What, what's this 
So here I'm using our Lumi lamp and I'm curing for 30 seconds because our gel polish cures in our Lumi lamp for 30 seconds. I bet the gel polish would fix it. Oh yes, yeah, so <laughs> our gel polish. So I am using bubble gum and fairy pool today. Two really, really cute, very, very Katie colors. Yes, very cute. What's so good about gel polish? Oh, well, it is hypoallergenic. We have a hundred shades, it cures in 30 seconds. The brush is amazing. Um, it's made in the EU. What's not good about it? I've just gone for the fact that the coverage is just excellent. Yes, oh, that too. So what I am doing now is I'm going to start the opposite way around. So last time I started the purple, this time I'm starting with pink. I'm sure other people will have a much better way of doing this, but I think this is really, really easy. And for anybody who struggles a bit with nail art, I think it's just a really good technique. So, would the colours have to be very similar? Um, not, not really. really pull it off, so mm. I'm thinking like red and green for Christmas. Oh my god! But then it might be ugly in the middle. Exactly, it would just okay, be brown. brown. So you, oh, do need, you do need to think about how the colours are going to mix. So again, you want to be quite thin coat, so if he's a little bit too much over there, but that's okay. Remember, the, this is cured now, so you're not going to get any contamination on your pink brush at this time. You don't need any special nail art brushes to do this either, so that's... Oh, fudge! We didn't film anything on there! Right, we're just going to have to do it on the other hand, um, just for the real, yeah? So yeah, you don't need any special nail art brushes for this, which is why I think as well it's another really good little little trick to be able to do. So again, we are just painting our second coat using the second using the same colour as what we used last on the other hand. Oh no, on the first round. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to go in with the first colour that we started with on the first round. We want to rub off oh, some of the excess, we don't want too much product on the brush. And I think it's good if you've got a little bit of gel just around the lip of your bottle, so you're not having to dip it right in and contaminate all the gel that's in there. So now we are going to paint the other side again. You don't even really need to pay attention to what's happening in the middle because it can just kind of happen itself as you go. So you're just going to use that brush just to blend that middle section. And again, it doesn't need to be totally perfect, guys. Okay, our, um, what's the word I'm for? Chrome, our moon drops is really gonna help us um, blend this together. It's not the Adele, like, as it was. Well, yeah. uh, it could be. Okay, we're just going to lightly brush through <laughs> the moon. It's not helpful, Katie. She's, like, really going for it. She really, really is. contaminate the far far part of each side with the other colour so that there is sort of definition. And I just said that and then I'm doing this. Not ideal. Murdered in like 1870 something. Oh. Of course you would find that right. 
Yeah. I know what was he people... doing? Was he digging? Was it his No, so, so he was extending his back garden, right? And basically, this woman killed this other woman, blah, 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 blah. Decapitated her. Tried to hide her head to hide the identity of the body. But anyway, this woman got convicted and, and they could never find the head. So for like 151 years, or however long it was, didn't know where her head was. And then I think he bought like the plot of land behind his house and it was like this old pub. And it got landscapers in to extend his back garden and they managed to find the skull. Whoa. And put it all back together. That is wild. And I was like, how did we not know this about David Dambra? I mean, I didn't know that. I mean, to find the skull, you've got to find two pets in the Literally. Mm-hmm. I'm quite good at finding coins, aren't I, Chris? You are. I've just noticed a couple of little patches. I'm just going to go back in with my Google Go. So, do you wipe, so when you're mixing, or when you paint over something that's already wet, mm-hmm. or do you wipe it off every time? What I'm doing is I'm dabbing on a lint free wipe. I'll show you guys my dabs in a second, actually. Um, just so I'm not contaminating the gel when I go back inside my bottle. Got myself in a bit of a jelly mess here. And I'm going to do it again. So I'll show you guys here. If you can see, I'm literally just dabbing the tip of the brush or the part that was in contact with the other colour just to make sure that we don't have contamination of our gel inside the bottle. Okay, so we are going to go in and fully go that. In we pop, 30 seconds. Can I get another glove please, Chris? Because I can do... It's hard to do this from really, really neat, that is the only thing. It's like impossible. But still gonna look cute. And I, can you get me another um, sponge out of that bag, please? If that's... This will be fine. Oh, yeah. This will be fine. The best part. The best. Okie doke. So, now we have our uh, vertical ombre here. How cute is that? Is that not just so cute? Adorable. Adorable. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because we're going to pop chrome over it, and remember, as I said, even if they're not perfect, do not worry, because your chrome is going to hide a multitude of sins. Okay, so now we're just going to go in and top coat. So yeah, you do want to find colours that are relatively close or related. Obviously, pink and purple are not really, I mean, they're not really similar colours, but they are kind of related and they go nicely together, so... I think that's... also the shades of pink and purple you've chosen. Yeah. I knew as soon as I wanted to do this, I was like, I'm going to use those two colours. Can you remember every single colour? The name of every colour? In terms of... Do you think you can name all one other? Uh, probably. Maybe that could be a little of a challenge. Oh, that's a good one. Well, even something spicy. <laughs> Maybe we could do shots of like tea kila. Tea kila? Yeah. Never heard of that one. Sweet. Tea tea. Tea kila. Tea kila. Half a bottle of tequila. Just do that in the work night, Half a bottle of tequila and then name all the colours. Half a bottle of tequila would be on the floor. <laughs> wouldn't be naming anything. You've seen me after. Even just a quarter of a bottle. Not even a quarter of a bottle of tequila. Yes. Yes, we have. <laughs> you. You. That's exactly what I'm like when I'm drunk, isn't it? You. Right, so I am going to pop the hand in for the full 30 seconds. We are adopting a slightly different method of uh, chrome application, which we learned from the lovely Dippy Cow Nails, Jerry over at Dippy Cow Nails. Um, and I think this is a really good application because then you're absolutely sure that your um, your top coat is fully cured. So we are going to fully cure it, and then we're going to go in with either isopropyl alcohol, if you don't have our multi-purpose spray, or we're going to use our multi-purpose spray because again, it's multi-purpose and you can use it for so many things. So once they are fully cured, Right. Let's just let them cure for just a few seconds. Oh, and let's just look at that. <gasps> How beautiful are they? So stunning. Okay. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, I know you said the uh, moon drops would hide stuff, but 
You think it, you think it looks really nice? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Kate? No. Super cute. Super cute. Just wondering if we should actually get a picture of this. Yeah. I don't know if they're good enough. Let me just put yeah. them Yeah. There you are. Put a little bit of oil on the, just around the... You could be a nice hands, Katie. Thanks. Sorry, Katie. Sorry. Well done for having me. Thanks. Okay, okay. Okay. So, now we are going to go in with our spray and make sure we... Oh, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeaky clean. And I, I really hope that when I apply this chrome, that we're all gonna go, oh, and it's gonna take over those nails I did on Stacey yesterday. The reaction to the video, was, uh, video I edited this morning from yesterday was wild. Well, She's hopefully. Slamming things down the table. Oh my god. Okay, so today we are going to be using Neptune. So always give it a wee shake first. And then we are going to be using, actually, I'm gonna need a new brush. I knew things I forgot I was doing. I'm gonna bang on it. Look at these guys, stunning. Not perfect over here, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Okay, and we're gonna be using one of our brushes. Okay, and instead of just wipe, uh, put, popping this straight on the nails, I am going to pop it onto the brush. Be very careful when you have your moon drops open because it's easy to spill them. Okay. And now we are gonna go rubbing. Oh my God. No. No. <laughs> no. No, look how magic ah! that looks. It's totally changed the nails though, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, literally. It's like next level. So why didn't leave a Oh, no. <gasps> that is magic. Do you love it? Yeah. Do you love it plain or with the, the chrome? Mm, cool. Chrome, good. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so again, we are going to apply some Here's a question, why don't you do a different chrome on each nail? No, no, absolutely not. What about not. The, the glitter effect as well? I'll, I'll, the glitter yeah, too. I can show that. <gasps> How exciting is this? This is going to change festive nails, I think. Yeah. I know it's not festive right now, but I can see reds and greens, and then I'll run this over the top of it. It's going to... Just missed a little bit here. There we go. Pop it on and drop it up top. And look how blended it looks with that on top as well. I know, so blended. I'm just gonna, there's just a little bit here on this tip that doesn't seem to want to chrome, so I'm just gonna put let it dry but i'm just going to show you guys hopefully it doesn't ruin anything how this can look with just a glitter effect oh wow that's beautiful too wow look at that absolutely stunning that's so cute isn't it so just to clarify the glitter it goes on glitter so that's the two different effects that the product can create either chrome or glitter and you can just leave it glitters. So you don't need to rub it in. You don't need to chrome it, but we are going to. I'm just gonna rub that little guy in before I forget as well. And then I am going to finish that one just with a method that we were implementing before, which is just painting it straight onto the sponge. These are so you, Katie, as well. They're so cute. So Neptune, does that have a, a green to it? It color? does. I mean, did you ever see a more unicorn set of nails in your <laughs> life? totally changes depending what colours and stuff yeah. underneath as well. There's so many different looks. So it's like always a surprise when you put it on. It is. 
see if you're charging for moon drops just um, being curious do you do do you have moon drops mm -hmm. yeah do you charge for like nail art moon drops yeah how much would that be normally well the, like it would depend what nail art they get so if they're just getting moon drops like just chrome nails that would be like basic nail art to me mm -hmm. and it's relatively straightforward the product's not overly expensive no it's so much easier than like your usual yeah. like chrome powders and all this like just try to work out good value yeah them. no it's I think a thousand we, times easier because we don't have the salad anymore it's not something we think about quite as much no it's quicker easier less mess it just looks for better the, results yeah. as well way better results i think we may have just not talked about it very well on the very 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 tip or something yeah. it's not even the most going really i know but these are mad. These are beautiful. Just given mermaid. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so now I am going to apply top coat, but we have a separate top coat. You what? Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, perfect. Separate top coat, which we have labelled chrome slash glitter, because even with the best one in the world, you often get a little bit of contamination. So we want to make sure that we do not have that. Can I leave you for two seconds? Yeah. Yeah. So far, anyway. Good. So I honestly use them all the time. It's just a really great product, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This was um I did a week, like we've been using since the beginning. Because this has been this top coat has been contaminated by chrome, it's like mm -hmm. it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I feel like the glittery part's going back out. Oh, that's the one that we glittered, isn't it? And then, okay, so I feel like it's not as chromey. Might even be the glitter in the top, top, top coat, coat. Mm -hmm. probably is. So now you can see we have stunning ombre, vertical ombre with chrome over the top and they are absolutely beautiful. Anyway guys, let us know if you try this below, what you think of the technique. It's just a little easy nail art technique for you to do. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and um, make sure you subscribe to be notified when we post our next video. Bye guys.